Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Mass Effect 2. We are on the Citadel, uh, to be exact in the Sika War. I Se heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You yeah. ever been up there? No, hmm. c won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians, we should kill them all. Yeah, that's how you convince people that you're not dangerous, right? By killing them all. But we got a side quest. Did you see that? Uh, let's talk to her because... Oh, see the souvenirs. Okay. Yeah, maybe we find something interesting. We're here to shop anyway and talk to Anderson, of course. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. <laughs> That's... Brilliant. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. I don't want a space hamster or sh or a fish because they usually die because I forget to feed them. Uh, in game, of course. Uh, the model of the Normandy SR1. Yeah, sure. And the Destiny Ascension. Sure. Collecting those. So. Dreadnoughts, eh? That's a nice starship. And yep, yeah, the Normandy is a frigate. Good, good. Uh, let's just take a look if we can't find anything. Yeah, we already heard that. Nope, there are no survivors. So I think this must be a... I don't know, expedition? I, I think that's a weapons shop if I'm not mistaken. What can I do for you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's get for let's get an endorsement and uh, go for discount here. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard and I The Shepherd? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Well, no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement for now, because I'm planning on running around and recording that on all the stores. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh, some damage, eh? Uh, spare ammo capacity is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that one. Submachine gun damage, that's a little bit expensive. Heavy pistol damage sounds like a good plan, though. We're using it, and you know, other people are too. I don't know if we can afford it though. Hmm. Ah, well, let's buy the health thing as well. We're going to uh, maybe come back here and, and purchase stuff. Once again, we're not really that rich. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. That's a lot. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. <laughs> yeah, sure. That doesn't sound like a good plan. Dark Star is, I think, a, uh, like a like a club. Oh. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Don't I know her? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's talk to this 
reporter. Got time for the press, Shepard? Usually, no. Didn't she try to, um... I think it was her, right? To try to uh, take our words and just twist them around. Ah, well, okay, let's let's talk to her. I don't like it, but let's do it. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, but <laughs> you made me look bad. You... yeah. Let's, uh, don't use swear words right now. We could be on camera. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Yeah, and I'm gonna bull rush you again. And again. And again. Stupid freaking reporters that try to make me look bad. Well, I'm gonna turn that around on them. Every single time. Bastards. Uh. Yeah, we are on the. Wait a minute. Presidium groundskeeper? Oh, there we are. Let's talk to that guy then. Can do for you. Oh, perfect. Uh, you remember those two Krogan talking about fish on the Presidium? Let's try and find out. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonesy's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Uh, yeah, we know the rest here. The gift shop, we found that and... Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Cool. I will. Thank you. For your time. Wait a minute, there was some... something that we... Oh yeah. Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's Den anyway. Sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. Yeah, Chorus then was weird. No, we no, we don't dance. Shepard's a lousy dancer. Oh, that's the restrooms. Yep, sorry, wrong one. You might want to label that next time. Hmm, just one floor. That's cheap. Is there? Is it? Is it me or does it not look like you can walk through here? No, it's 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 a glass, right? Yeah. Good, good. So we found that. Did another side quest, I think. We leave this place. Music's a little bit too loud. No, oh, that's better. 
so I think we try and find a place where we can use our money. Is there anything on the other side though? The cafe could be good. Whatever um, Sarona's application at the Sirte Foundation is, I, I forgot. I kind of, you know, forgot the names of the companies that do, st you know, build weaponry and armors and stuff. So let's just walk over there. Whatever. It's not that far. We should listen to a news report, I guess. Maybe Ultralani show. Nope. I would have liked to see that we bull rushed, uh, you know, that. Uh, the I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Huh. Fair enough then. Oh yeah, there we go. High grade provisions. That's what we wanted. Yep. Give me novel and more novels. Yeah, I'll just buy them. Whatever. Five credits. Not that bad. See ya. So, the side quest is done. Don't need the galactic news, we already know about that. Okay, that's not the way. Let's move through here then. So, we are trying to get... I don't know, what, what, what are we trying to get, actually? A used ship? Not really, do we? Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Uh, thanks, but I I actually have a ship. It's pretty good. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Yeah, I get that. So in case you uh, didn't know or don't know that guy back here is an Elcor and uh, they don't really communicate with um, you know the voices that much so they always say their emotions first so other species don't get uh, confused you know that's uh, the perfect uh, the perfect species to put on a theater stage it's a really good idea Sup, I want to buy stuff in my favorite store on the Citadel. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog... Yeah, sure. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just worked out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, we're going to do that on all the stores. If everybody if everybody has an endorsement, then nobody has, right? Exactly. Ooh, wow, damage protection. That would be pretty damn good. 10% more shield barriers and armor? Hmm. 
For 75 grand though. Y yeah, I'm I'm pretty interested in that one. I mean, we need to upgrade everything anyways, but let's start with with a little bit more damage protection. Can use this. Yeah, we can. That's uh, that was freaking expensive though. But, you know, who cares? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Not. I'm not into eavesdropping. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Hmm. Let's just get. Let's just get the discount. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're a shepherd, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Yeah, no props. Ooh, Medigel. Capacity not too bad. I think I'll take that for 6666. Six, six. Sure. More health. Ah, Medigel capacity is not a bad idea, but... I had a 25 grand, I think I'll save and get some... something else, actually. I mean, I don't know. It's... It's hard to tell, it's hard to tell. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. The warehouse or a warehouse? Uh, this is, makes quite a difference, though. Doesn't it? Doesn't look like here is anything and uh, nothing that we could steal. I mean, um, you know, borrow for an infinite amount of time look, without it took me a any long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Classic. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Uh, what exactly happened here? I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not, just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan, just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let's right, just tell me what happened and you get this thing going. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop. Or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Hmm. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Fair enough. Now let's get the Vola's opinion here. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit, Chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Yeah, right. So let's get the middle ground here. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You know, I'm gonna look into this. This doesn't seem pretty, you know, that doesn't seem right here. 
I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we bah. all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Be careful out there. I mean, it used they weren't a used car dealer, used car, used sh uh, ship dealership things. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. And in the Certain Foundation, that's here, right? Good day, citizen. Yeah, yeah. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. All right, well. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. The nerve enhancement say that Maybe I will, maybe I will. Let's just take a look at the other shops. You know, maybe he'll just I'm forgot. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Yeah, maybe I forgot it somewhere. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Well, that was easy. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. That was easy, but yeah, you, you went to Quarian. You went to Quarian, man. You know that they're all thieves. It's not that I'm really forgetful. No, no. I felt her hat. Please move along. Nah. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Perfect. Let's get even more Paragon points. So, I think we're done here, mostly. I mean, we've looked into everything there is on this side of uh, of the place, of course. Let's just take a look into the journal. Maybe there's something... Oh yeah, Krogan Sushi. We need to talk to them. That we found out that there are no fish in the Presidium. Ah, darn it. Anyways, I think we do that now. It's not that far. And then we just jump on a rapid transit thing and... Uh, Go to the Presidium, talk to Anderson, talk to the Council, be like, yo, a Reaper are coming, bros. Or actually, in in this case, more, yo, the Collectors are coming, bros. And they'll be like, oh yeah, the Collectors, you made them up because, you know, you're always making up stuff. And I guess in about 30 episodes, we're like, told ya. So, there are no, f why fish first? What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh, a sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? <laughs> yeah. I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Another 40... Oh, that's nice. Another 40 experience and uh, some credits. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. So, the rapid transit awaits. Let's see. We want to go to the Presidium. And I think I'll just end the episode as soon as we're there, or after this cutscene. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. 
My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. That's brilliant. Yeah, well, there is nothing left of Sovereign, of course, and I'm pretty sure that Vigil... That hologram he was talking about um, most likely ran out of power because as we were visiting the guy two years ago he was like oh my god I'm running out of power so yeah let's go with this one I deserve better than this I mean we saved the freaking Citadel and we were always right and they were always like yeah bring us proof but they never never trust us those bastards I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Yeah, fine enough. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Yeah, I know, but... <sighs> exactly, no need to burn bridges. I mean, they won't do anything, but at least they are not like, Ah, traitor! So, let's keep the pitchforks and the torches away from all of this. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consulate. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Eh, uh, nah. The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Yeah, I mean, the, the question why don't you fire him is pretty obvious. I mean, he is quite a good ambassador. I mean, he's, a, he's an asshole, right? But kind of knows the political... Uh, you know, the political ways, being an asshole behind closed doors and just 
play nice with everybody. He's kind of good good about that. Adin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Hmm. That's really unlikely. I mean, the ship was huge. I mean, it was really ginormous. Absolutely gigantic. Okay, but all right. If we can't even account for half of it, all right. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. All right, so the Getha more more or less defeated. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's let's ask about Caden. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance, but he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus. I'm sorry. Okay, fair enough. But how have you been, old friend? How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Exactly, and to be honest, Anderson, Counselor is among the most powerful position that you can get here when you're not on the front lines. So I guess I've given you the most, you know, power you can have while not being, um, you know, at the front lines and actually doing the heavy lifting stuff. But anyways, uh, thanks for all the insight and the council meeting. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just yeah. do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyways, we are back on the wards. We are, I guess, through with our visit on the Citadel for now. Um, I think we're going to look through the Presidium in the next episode and maybe find something here or there. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. And as always, Auf Wiedersehen.